there are a number of conditions which would alter the scenario of the Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium and cause allele frequencies to change over time. So if one allele mutates into another, especially in a small population, this would change allele frequencies. If there were immigrants from another population and that second population had a different allele uh, frequency distribution, that would change the allele frequencies in the first population. If random events, especially in small populations, occurred, it might be just dumb luck that one individual is eaten by a predator or dies of disease or migrates uh, and is the first one on an island, but this would alter the frequency of uh, the alleles. Uh, if mating was non-random and females, say, preferred a male with a specific phenotype, if natural selection um, uh, was making it less likely that one allele would be passed on to the next generation, but another allele was more likely, this would tend to change allele frequency over time. And we had gone through a number of examples of this where after uh, examining how a population might be affected by immigration or genetic drift or non-random uh, mating, you uh, made predictions on how allele frequencies would change. As we discussed selection, we went through a number of definitions, such as that of frequency-dependent selection, where the selective advantage of a certain allele might be dependent on how common that allele was. For example, some males may have a rare male advantage and be more likely to be chosen by females if their phenotype is rare. There is heterozygote advantage, in which case individuals are more likely to survive, say, a disease if they are heterozygotes. Pleiotropy is the condition where one gene affects multiple traits. The founder effect is where a population is founded by a small number of individuals, say, a new island population that would then determine their allele frequencies. Sometimes a population um, is drastically reduced, say there's a mass extinction or a disease outbreak, this population would undergo a bottleneck. If a population experiences selection in which those with the median phenotype are the most likely to reproduce and those with the extreme phenotypes are the least likely to pass on their genes, this would be stabilizing selection and the allele frequency mean would tend to stay constant over time. If one of the two extremes, say the small individuals in a population uh, curve, uh, were less likely to reproduce, while the other extreme, the large individuals, were more likely to reproduce, then directional selection would occur and the average uh, size in the population would increase over time. If the median phenotype is selected against, say, average size individuals are less likely to uh, thrive, and those at either extreme are more likely to thrive, then one would observe the alleles causing the extreme phenotypes become more common, and this might separate an ancestral population in two and ultimately cause two species to uh, develop from one ancestral population.